Hey guys, it's Lee, and I'm back to do my knit hat challenge for week number four. And if you don't know about Nate's hat challenge, it is an acrylic pouring challenge. And you can go check out his channel, which I will have linked in the description box below. And if you want to be a part of the challenge, I'm sure it's not too late. I think it's only for the month of October, but I don't know for sure. So what Nate did was sent a list of all these different challenges and you have to pick three or five and then create a painting using those challenges. I'm going to be brave and pick five this time around. So let me get started. I'm just gonna pull out several. Oh, wait, I got way too many, hold on. One, I'm not looking, two, three, four, five. All right, <clears throat> I have, can only use triad colors on the color wheel. I ju just did this one, so I'm gonna put that one away. I have no, whoops, no white. Must use blue. No oranges. Can't do a flip and drag, and I'm gonna pull out one more. Can only use monochromatic. I guess I could just use all blues then because it says, all right, I'm gonna do it in all blues and I will be back in a minute once I have everything set up. Okay guys, I'm back with my monochromatic colors and to be honest with you, I can't even tell you what they're called because I did a lot of mixing to get some colors I want. This looks white, but it is blue. So I have a range of blues. I don't have anything super duper dark. This is as dark as I got. So I really hope this works out. They're all mixed with deco art, pouring medium, and flow trawl, and some water. There isn't any silicone in anything. So I'm going to think for just a minute about what kind of technique I'm going to use, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've decided to do a flip cup, which I don't normally do. So this should be interesting. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five condiment cups here that I'm going to be using. Hopefully that'll be enough paint. It should be, I guess. I have an 11 by 14 canvas. And as I said, I don't know that I've done a flip cup. Maybe the very first one I ever did was a flip cup. But yeah, I, I don't really do these very often. So let's get started. I'm going to take this super light blue and put, the, put that in all the cups first. Well, that was a lot. And then I'm just gonna randomly put the other colors in. I'm not gonna put them all in in the same order. So I'm gonna drop this from up high to kind of mix them a little, I think, hopefully. We'll see. All right, so I feel like I might have way too much paint here. Whoops, here. So I'm gonna pull one of them off. 
No, I'm not. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, let me move all this out of the way. These are so full. I'll do the best I can. All right, give those a couple seconds and then I will pull them off. I'm refilling my torch, but once I do that, I'm gonna give this a quick torch and um, tilt it and see what happens. Okay, so let's See what we can do here. Am I in the way of the camera? All right, so here it is. Uh, I feel like it's really boring, but I'm gonna let it sit for just a minute while I go clean up my hands, and I'm gonna think about it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like this. I think I'm happy with it. I was gonna do a ribbon pour over it. I decided not to. Yeah, I just don't know. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I know, you know, some people are able to embellish their paintings and make them look so much nicer. I don't have that ability. I don't know what to do with them or how to make them look better. And I like it, so I don't wanna ruin it. So I'm gonna leave it how it is. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this painting. I think it's kind of pretty. I followed all the rules, all the challenges, so there's that. So today's Thursday, the video has to be up on Friday, so in the morning I will quickly show you what it looks like as it's drying. It won't be completely dry, 
but maybe the colors will look a little different. Maybe something will look a little different. So let me show you a close-up of it right now. I apologize for the lights overhead, but this is how it looks. I think it turned out pretty good. I don't know. I'll let people who know what they're doing be the judge of that. And here it is. Like I said, I'll show it to you in the morning. All right, so it is the next morning and I'm liking it better this morning. It's drying a little darker. I don't know if you can tell that on camera, but yeah, I do like it better this morning. I really wish I had the ability to embellish and make things look nicer, but that's not me, so it's not gonna happen. Anyway, let me show you a close up now that it's a little drier. This is sort of a weird little cell just right there on its own. It's kind of cute. All right. So let me know in the comment section below what you think. And don't forget to search on YouTube for Nate's Hat Challenge so you can find all of the other participants. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.